Welcome to Right on the Mark with your host, Mark Young. Today, we're changing things up. I know it looks a little different on set. You might even be thinking to yourself, is it opposite day? Or is it Leif Erikson day? Hey everybody, it's Leif Erikson day. Hinga dinga dergen. I don't know, but it looks like I'm on the backside of the island in my kitchen. But if you ever seen the backside of water, it's the same thing. <laughs> anyway, folks, thanks for joining me. It's another week. It's another video. So welcome back to my channel and my food and drink of the week. So I got all kind of ingredients going on here, folks. I mean, I'm going to try to make a breakfast. I'm going to get a breakfast drink. We're going to have some fun with this and we get to eat and drink. What's not to like? So the first thing you want to do when you wake up is you probably want to smell some coffee. That's what I'm thinking. That's what most people think. So I get some coffee in the background, but not just any coffee. We're going to do an Irish coffee. So I'll show you how to make some Irish coffee and I'll show you how to make some Irish toast or French toast, but I'm going to make it a little Irishy. But anyway, I'm going to get my coffee and I'll be right back. <laughs> Nice, fresh, a steaming hot Joe. I always pour a little cream in it. Darken it up a little. Now comes the important part, is you're gonna to wanna to use some Jameson. Hence, the Irish coffee. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna crack this baby open and we're gonna add a jigger of Jameson to our Irish coffee. pour it in the correct technique way like that so you're gonna cap that off and then you're gonna come behind that with some ready whip Ooh, let me have some of that cool whip now there's many different ways you can make your Irish coffee a lot of people put heavy cream and drizzle it over a spoon to kind of separate it from the top and the bottom coffee but I just like to spray it right on top Just like that. And it melts and it turns right into cream. So you have your Irish coffee. Just like that. Now I'm going to set it down a minute because it's a little too hot to drink. But you know a lot of people love coffee. You know uh, the common denominator of people living like over a hundred. They always say coffee is part of the regimen. It's incredible. I just remember reading the other week that somebody from Shalori was 104 years old and they asked her what her secret was. She's like, it's very simple. I had two cups of coffee every day and I used Dove soap. So take that as you will. Not sure what the Dove soap was doing, but hey, the Irish coffee does it all. So it's gonna help you live longer, it's gonna keep you healthy, and the Dove soap will just keep you clean. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the task at hand right here. Uh, okay, I just had a, a chill. Uh, but anyway, all right, so we're gonna make some Irish toast like I promised you. Now, I got all the ingredients I need. I got some bread, I got some bacon. I'm gonna put on the side a couple eggs. We're gonna put some Baileys in it. We're gonna mix it up and then we're gonna fry it up and make it all come together. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna slap your bacon on your griddle. Just like that, oh uh, yeah. There you go. Put that bacon right there on the side. You're going to want to go ahead and crack your eggs and put them into your mixing bowl. So let's go ahead and do that. One in there. Another one in there. Then you want to hit it with a little bit of cream. Just want to make it a nice consistency. Put a little bit of cream in there. And now comes the fun part. You're gonna use some Baileys. Now, I like to use Baileys in a lot of things. You could put it in pancake mix. You could put it in uh, your coffee if you want. I like to put it in my French toast, which is really my Irish toast. So shake it up a little. We're gonna put like a 
half a jigger in there. Pour that in there. Like that. Cap that off. Keep an eye on your bacon. Don't forget about your bacon. You never want to forget about that. <laughs> All right, some more sizzling, sizzling on the griddle right here. So now you're going to want to mix this lovely concoction up. So I'm going to go ahead and stir it and mix it till it's a good, thick consistency because you want it to stick to your bread. It's the most important part. If it doesn't stick to your bread, then you're not going to have your coating on your bread for your Irish toast. So give it a good maybe 15, 30 second stir. I could smell the Baileys already. Looks like a good consistency. Now before we dredge our bread in there, we're gonna have a little salute to coffee. Irish coffee going in. Oh man, that hits the spot. If you've never tried this, you gotta try it. Irish coffee is the best. You know, a lot of people have red eyes in the morning whenever they wake up. They'll have a red eye drink. They'll have a Bloody Mary. They'll do all kind of drinks. Me personally, when I wake up, I like to throw a robe on, pour a cup of coffee, sit outside. So, going in again. Tasty. All right, we're about ready to dredge some bread. So you're going to take it and just plop it in there. And you're going to soak it up just like that and you could turn it over and soak the other side so if you could see that both sides are evenly coated then you go ahead and you slap it on the griddle just like that now while that one is cooking on one side you'll do the same thing with the other piece of bread we could dredge this bread let it soak up in there a little Man, I could smell the Baileys. I'm tasting the Jameson in here. This is a great breakfast. You guys got to try this. Only if you're over 21. <laughs> or not. Flip it over. Get that nice coating of that egg on there. Basically, it's bacon, eggs, and toast. So that's one of my favorite breakfasts, folks. So I really like that. So let's go ahead and put this on here. Let that start grilling. Let's turn over our bacon. It's getting close to being done for sure. Look at that, shrinking up all nice. Now you probably wanna leave your Irish toast on here about a minute each side, just so it could get a nice crisp outside when you turn it over. Cause you only wanna turn it over once. It's almost like eating a steak. You only wanna flip it once. So with that note, I'll take another sip of coffee. Well, we still got a few seconds of that. Irish coffee going in again. Mmm. Uh, I always like to slurp it. If you don't know about the slurping, you never want coffee to hit your teeth because it's going to stain your teeth. What I do is I bypass my teeth and it just hits my tongue and goes right down. That's how I roll, folks. All right. Back to cooking and drinking. So, as our bacon almost looks like it's done, could probably take this off in another minute, but we're about ready to flip our Irish toast. And if you're ever not sure if it's done, all you have to do is lift up the bottom and see how it looks. It looks crispy to me. So I'll flip that one over and you can see it's all cooked and golden brown over there. And the same thing with this one. Just kind of lift it up from the edges just like that. Get underneath it and flip it. Another golden brown Irish toast. Now we're coming to the end. We're about done finishing up, so it doesn't take long at all. Heck, if if you had the if you had the the bacon in a microwave, this could even go faster. So the bacon is just about done. We'll take that off the griddle here. Shake off some of that excess bacon grease, which is very good by the way. Put that there. Don't catch my robe on fire. Ah. Now it's time to prepare 
your French toast or Irish toast. So you want to get a big plate, take it off the griddle, put it on your plate, and look at that, folks. Look, oh, 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 all right. Look at that, folks. I tried that, by the way. Stuntman, by trade, of course. <laughs> but anyway, you never want to leave your French toast dry. So what I do is I put some powdered sugar on it, Maybe, maybe not. Looks like there's a cover on here. So, well, maybe not. I'm not really sure. So, so we're just going to try to sprinkle that like that, and it comes out. Sometimes it doesn't come out, but that's off. good. And then you're going to want to drizzle some syrup. Where's the syrup? Be right back, folks. Do you miss me? Back here. Now you don't want to drizzle with Jameson or Bailey, Bailey's, although you could. I like to drizzle it with some Mrs. Butterworth's, nothing better. So I basically just go very lightly and drizzle it. So when I serve my guests French toast, they never leave here sober, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and there goes your French toast with your bacon. And if you want, you could serve it all on the same plate. That is fantastic, let me tell you. But you know what, we gotta taste it. I need another fork. Be right back, folks. I'm back, I got my fork. So we're gonna go ahead and taste it. Irish toast going in. Mmm, that is fantastic. Once again, you got all kind of flavors going on. I can taste the creaminess of the Baileys, the nice fluffiness of the egg, just enough syrup on it. You don't want to, you don't want to drown it in syrup. Just enough powdered sugar on there, baby. This is a big bingo, baby. This is what I call the bingo breakfast in my household. You could do it at your house. You could do it anywhere you want. Very simple. All you need is a griddle. Or if you have a stove with a pan, hey, you can make it anywhere. But let me tell you folks, comment below. Let me think, let me hear what you think about this uh, meal. Stop the slurping. This is great. Slurping, eating breakfast, easy like a Saturday morning or Sunday morning. It's a nice way to relax makes you feel good it's a hearty breakfast it's a comfort breakfast basically but anyway folks if you have any questions let me know i'll put the ingredients down below in case you want to try this at home it's very simple coffee maker uh a griddle some bread eggs toast some syrups you're good to go but don't forget to like subscribe and tap that bell so you don't miss any of this because who knows what i'll prepare next i didn't go to the board today but maybe next week I will. But anyway, that about wraps it up for Right on the Mark with your host, Mark Young. See you next time, folks. Wow, the lovely Kim was here. She would love this. She'd probably be upset that I couldn't get the powder out of the shaker. But man, everything else is fantastic. She must still be sleeping. Jeez. I'm going to spike her coffee. That's what I'll do. I'm going to put Jameson in her coffee. <laughs>